It was a dramatic ending to a years-long ordeal. Yesterday, yesterday who was ready to be sentenced? You sit down, I'm gonna put you in jail. If you, if you yell at me, point at me. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Jerry Baxter sentenced eight of 10 former Atlanta educators to prison time Tuesday in the wake of the Atlanta Public Schools cheating scandal, one of the largest in the country. Baxter originally planned to sentence the former educators Monday, but allowed an extra day for their attorneys to discuss plea deals and, in his words, accept responsibility for their crimes. But when all but two of those sentenced chose not to accept plea deals, Baxter handed down what some have called stiff penalties. Judge Baxter throws the book at him. A lot of people might say that uh, Judge Baxter threw the book at those top three. Those top three were former Atlanta Public Schools administrators. They were each sentenced to seven years in prison, 13 years probation, 2,000 hours of community service, and a $25,000 fine. Those sentences even reportedly exceeded the recommendations from prosecutors. Part of the reason for the so-called stiff sentencing could be explained by the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO, which was used to put members of the Gambino crime family behind bars. It's also been used in recent decades to fight street gangs. The convicted Atlanta educators weren't mobsters or gang members, but according to the Washington Post, RICO laws allow prosecutors to try leaders of what they view as a corrupt organization for crimes they ordered, even if they didn't carry them out. The scandal was first uncovered by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution in 2008. An investigation found that educators had inflated their students' test scores and received praise and bonuses because of the higher grades. There were thousands of children that were harmed in this thing. This is not a victimless crime that occurred. The former educators have 30 days to appeal their sentences. One other former Atlanta Public Schools employee wasn't present Tuesday and will have her sentencing hearing in August. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.